Hello students, Mr. Courtney here, and I'm continuing with chemical composition, and today I'm talking about percent composition. So we're going to define percent composition, calculate percent composition, and calculate the mass of an element given percent composition. So when we talk about percent composition, we talk about the percent makeup of a substance by mass. So we take the mass of the component divided by the total mass multiplied by 100, and that will give us our percent composition for that particular component. So here we're asked to determine the percent composition or the composition of a ham and cheese sandwich with the following composition. We given the mass of bread, the mass of the ham, the mass of the cheese, and the mass of the mayonnaise. Since you say percent composition or the composition, then we need to find the percent composition of each component. So to find that, first we need to know what is the total mass. We're going to have two slices of bread, the ham, the cheese, and the mayonnaise. So we're going to multiply these, sorry, multiply the mass of the bread. Each slice of bread is 8.51 grams. Multiply by two slices, that gives us a mass of bread, plus the mass of the ham, the cheese, and the mayonnaise, that gives us 43.13 grams. To find the percent of the bread, we take the mass of the bread, divide by the total, multiply by 100. So it's part divided by whole times 100. So again, we do part divided by whole times 100. So the 17.02 grams divided by 43.13 grams, which is our total mass times 100. That gives us 39.46%. You do the same thing for the ham. 18.56 grams out of the 43.13 are ham. So you multiply that by 100, that gives you 43.03. For the percent cheese, 6.60 grams divided by 43.13 grams times 100, that's 15.30. And then to find the percent mayonnaise, we take 0.95 grams divided by 43.13, multiply by 100, that gives us 2.2%. Or we could have added the percent of bread, ham, and cheese and subtract from 100, and that would give us our percent of mayonnaise a percent is out of 100 so all these values would add to 100. so when you think of percent composition in a compound now we think of the mass of the element divided by the formula mass of the compound so we need to know what is the mass of the element present in the compound and we need to know the formula mass of the compound that is one mole of the compound what is the mass of one mole of that compound so if there are 95.0 grams of barium and 26.3 grams of fluorine in a compound. What is the percent composition of barium and fluorine in the compound? So we already know the total mass of barium and the total mass of fluorine. We have 95.0 and 26.3. So the total mass would be 121.3 grams. So to find the percent of barium, we take the mass of barium, which is 95.0 grams, divided by 121.3 grams, and multiply by 100. That gives us the percent of barium. That gives us 78.3. Now, to find the mass, the percent of fluorine, we can go two ways. We can take 26.3 divided by 121.3 multiplied by 100, or we could simply subtract 78.3 from 100 because the total percent adds to 100. And since we only have two components, we know one, and that is 78.3. If we subtract that from 100, that gives us our second component. And the mass, the percent of fluorine is 21.7. All right. In this example, we're told if 225 grams of a compound that is known to contain only phosphorus and oxygen is found to have 114 grams, 114.3 grams of oxygen, what is the percent composition of each element in the compound? So again, we're told it only contains phosphorus and oxygen. We know the mass of oxygen. So that means whatever mass is remaining is the mass of phosphorus. So we know the mass of oxygen, the total mass, we can find the percent of oxygen. That's 114.3 divided by 225. Multiply by 100, that gives us 50.8. Now, we do not need to go find the mass of phosphorus unless you were asked to find the mass of phosphorus. Since you were asked to find what is the percent composition of each element, we just need to know the percent composition of oxygen and phosphorus. And since we already know that the percent composition of oxygen is 
and phosphorus is the only other compound, only other element in the compound. Then we subtract 50.8 from 100, and that gives us 49.2% phosphorus. So the percent composition would be zero, would be 50.8% oxygen and 49.2% phosphorus. All right. In this example, we're asked to calculate the percent composition of each element in ammonium carbonate. Rather, it says calculate the percent composition of ammonium carbonate. When we see something like this, what it is really asking us to do, as I put it in parentheses here, is to find the composition of each element. But here we're given ammonium carbonate. We're not given the formula for ammonium carbonate. And to calculate percent composition for a compound, we need to know its formula mass or its molar mass. So first we have to determine the formula of ammonium carbonate. We know we have ammonium and carbonate ions. They're in a ratio, there the charges are plus one and negative two. So that means we will need two of the ammonium ions to balance off the charges of the carbonate ions. You have to remember again, in, a, in an ionic compound, the total charge is equal to zero. So that's the formula for ammonium carbonate. So we need to go ahead and find the, the molar mass. So we have two moles of nitrogen eight moles of hydrogen so that's the four times the two okay so that's the four times the two that gives us eight moles of hydrogen one mole of carbon and three moles of oxygen we add all these together we get 96.08 so now we can find the percent composition of each element so for nitrogen that's 28.02 divided by 96.08 times 100 so the mass of nitrogen divided by the total mass of the compound, the, the formula mass times 100, and that gives us 29.16. We do the same thing for hydrogen, 8.064 divided by 96.08 times 100. For carbon, 12.00 divided by 96.08 times 100. Then we can add all these values together and subtract from 100 to find the percent composition of oxygen and when we do that we get 49.6 percent oxygen and if you look at it logically also since your total mass is 96 and 48 of that 96 is oxygen and oxygen should be approximately 50 percent because you you really have you really have 96.08 and 48 of that is oxygen so it is very very close to 50 so you have to think about the answers you're going to write down okay and this question it asks us to calculate the mass of iron in grams present in 150 grams of iron 3 phosphate so the first thing we need to do is write the formula for iron 3 phosphate since it's iron 3 that tells us it's a transition metal because we see those roman numerals present and the Roman numerals also indicate the charge of the ion. So we know it's ion with a plus 3. And phosphate with a negative 3. If I add negative 3 and positive 3 together, I get 0. So they combine in a 1 to 1 ratio. So that's the formula of ion 3 phosphate. So we have 1 mole of iron present, 1 phosphorus, and 4 oxygen. So we add those together. And we get our molar mass of 150.82 grams per mole. So that means we want the mass of iron present. So let's look at how many what how many grams of iron do we have present in the compound? We only have one mole of it, so that means we only have 55.85 grams of iron in the total. So that's 55.85 grams of iron in 150.82 grams of the iron 3 phosphate. So that there, ladies and gentlemen, is our conversion factor. Since we start with grams of iron 3 phosphate and we want to cancel grams of iron 3 phosphate, we keep our conversion factor as it is. So this will cancel our grams of iron 3 phosphate. And we left with grams of iron. So 150 times 55.85 divided by 150.82. And again, logically thinking, if you're doing this on a multiple choice, you have to be able to see the connections here when you're not using a calculator. 150 divided by 150.82 is approximately 1. 
multiply by, by 55.85 so you'd expect your answer to be about 55.85 but since 150 is a bit smaller than 150.82 you know it's going to be less than 55.85 and in this case we get 55.5 grams of iron so this takes us to the end of this remember in percent composition percent means out of 100 if you want to find the percent composition of a compound that means you have to find its molar mass or its formula mass whichever term you feel more comfortable using and then find knowing the mass of each component and then divide that ma the mass of each component by the total mass times 100 to give you your percent composition okay so that takes us to the end of percent composition until the next time i'm out blessings